Everything to know about the 2018 4th of July Boston Pops fireworks spectacular this year, Newton's Rachel Platten will headline the show. It's back, the legendary Boston Pops fireworks spectacular. On the 4th of July, fireworks will light up the sky over the Charles River and the music of the Boston Pops will funnel along the Esplanade. Whether you're heading out to see the fireworks or watching them from your home, here's what you need to know about the iconic Independence Day event. What time it starts, and where the spectacular is held at the DCR Hat Shell on the Esplanade in Boston. It's open to get into the secured areas near the concert space at 9 a.m. The concert kicks off at 8 p.m., and the fireworks show begins at 10.30 p.m. You do not need tickets to the event. Visitors are admitted on a first-come, first-served basis. Ad Choice Advertising and Red Invented by Tidsu's Performing Advertisement Newton native Rachel Platten will headline the show this year. Grammy Award-winning artists Rhiannon Giddens of the Carolina Chocolate Drops and Amy Ray and Emily Salliers of the Indigo Girls will perform, as will Broadway star and EGOT winner Rita Moreno. The Boston Pops will pay tribute to Leonard Bernstein, a Lawrence native, Harvard alumnus, and former music director of the New York Philharmonic. What you can and can't bring to the Esplanade The two security cleared areas include the oval in front of the hatch shell and the island, lagoon, and visitors will need a wristband to pass through a security checkpoint into those areas. On July 4, the checkpoints will open at 9 a.m. All personal items must be carried in a clear bag, and liquids less than 2 liters must be in sealed, clear plastic containers, according to organizers. Guests can report any suspicious activity using a text aid tip line set up by the Massachusetts State Police. Visitors must type B4 directly before their tip and send to 67,283. Here's the full list of items you can and can't bring, not allowed, coolers on wheels, backpacks, firearms, weapons, sharp objects, or fireworks, glass containers, cans, alcoholic beverages, marijuana, pre-mixed beverages, liquids in sealed plastic containers over 2 liters, propane tanks or open flames, drones, bicycles aren't allowed through the checkpoints, but you can bring them to other parts of the Esplanade as long as they are not left unattended. Bicycles attached or locked to fences or poles or other structures may be subject to removal, according to the Massachusetts State Police. Allowed pop-up tents and canopies, up to 10 by 10 feet, with outsides, allowed only on July 4th, not on July 3rd, blankets or tarps no bigger than 10 by 10 feet folding or beach chairs, small clutches or purses can be taken in following inspection with your clear bag coolers carried by shoulder strap or a single handle, no coolers on wheels, how you should get there if you're planning to drive into Boston to see the fireworks, it's a good idea to plan your route before you go, as many streets will be close to traffic or impacted by parking restrictions. According to the event website, the Motor Mart Garage at 201 Stewart Street is a good place to park because it's an easy walk from there to the Esplanade. Here's the full list of streets affected by the fireworks. How to hear and see the festivities if you're not there advertisement If you aren't going to attend the event, you can still catch the concert and fireworks display on your TV, computer, smartphone, or radio. The show will be broadcast on Bloomberg TV and Boston's WHDH-TV starting at 8 p.m. as in the past. The event will be streamed on Bloomberg.com and the Bloomberg mobile app at 8 p.m. However, this year Boston.com, BostonGlobe.com, and BostonPopsYearly4TH.org will also host streams at 8 p.m. If you prefer listening on the radio, the show will be streamed through Bloomberg's Boston and Newburyport stations at 106.1 FM, 1330 AM, 1450 AM, and 92.9-HD2. Plymouth's WPLM will also broadcast the event for the first time this year to listeners on the South Shore and Cape Cod and in southeastern Massachusetts and parts of Rhode Island. 
You can find the audio stream nationally on Sirius XM Channel 119 at BloombergRadio.com and on Bloomberg Radio and iHeartRadio apps. What else there is to do on the 4th of July not feeling a day spent on the Esplanade waiting for the show to begin? You can head to the Old State House for a reading of the Declaration of Independence from the Balcony, the place where the document was first read to Bostonians in 1776. The reading starts at 9 a.m. If you want to tour the inside of the museum, which opens at 9 a.m., admission is $10 for adults, $8.50 for students and seniors over age 62, and free for children under age 18. Over at the Massachusetts Archives and Commonwealth Museum, there will be a one-day presentation on July 4th of two historic documents, the 1776 Treaty of Watertown, our country's first international agreement, and a 1776 letter from George Washington to the Massachusetts General Court. You can also view an original copy of the Declaration of Independence signed by John Hancock. The museum will be open on July 4th from 9 a.m to 3 p.m., and admission and parking are free. Photos, Boston's 4th of July celebration through the year's previous one of 74 next fireworks over the Charles River Esplanade for the 4th of July in 1987. Globe Archive Advertisement Additional Reporting by Di Allen Dwyer and Kevin Slane by Tabula by Tabula sponsored links sponsored links promoted links promoted links you may like my healthy vibe high in protein 20 vegetarian protein rich foods my healthy vibe undo blinkist this woman reads 100 books a month blinkist undo afras of the 20 most generous billionaires in the world afras of undo family minded 12 best dogs for homes with babies family minded undo 100 newspaper dot size 10 most beautiful wedding cakes in the world 100 newspaper dot size undo 4 my likes dot com most expensive cat breeds 4 my likes dot com undo